When I see this town, I, I see the potential. I see the beauty, I see the gardens, and I see the community, and I see people working together to lift each other up. You can live in a smaller community where you have a voice and you get to know your neighbors. It's like people are starting to see that change and they want to be a part of that change. So it's not just about what's here, it's about what's going to be here because we have all the resources already here and the people who want to make it happen. I'm Mae Chupros. And I'm Dave Lawler. And, and we're, we're people, people of Marquette. Marquette. Um, and we live in Ishpeming, so people of Ishpeming. <laughs> <laughs> We intentionally bought a really small house because we knew we would not have time to worry about the house because we'd always want to be outside doing something. We just want to play all the time because that's what you can do. You work hard, play hard here. Biking in Ishpeming means going out your front door and being on a trail in two minutes. And the trails don't stop until you're tired. We came for the mountain bike trails and stayed for the people. Um, because I think it's really the people here that make it for me. Yeah, it's literally like, do you remember when you were a kid and you would like go knock on your neighbor's door and ask them if they could play? That is how it feels like living in Ishpeming. <laughs> Mid Midwest girl, born in Springfield, Illinois. Um, went to high school in Indianapolis, went to college at IU. Moved to Florida for like a stint studying sea turtles. Moved to Chicago, became a teacher on the west side of the city. I think that's really what shaped the, the rest of my life and why I do what I do and why I constantly seek out roles in communities that help lift others up. So uh, I grew up in Wakanda, Illinois, probably about 45 miles from Chicago. If I wasn't riding my bike, I was probably behind a computer. I went to vocational school in high school, pretty interested in IT, and I thought I was gonna just go right into the job market, but my mom begged me to go to college. I ended up with a job at Sun Microsystems somehow, and then they got bought by Oracle, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> my job's been remote for a long time, and I always said that it's not for everybody. Uh, one thing I never took advantage of is just living wherever I wanted. Also, you know, I was kind of still waiting to find somebody and move away with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was at a point in my life where I, I loved this city, had lived there 13 years, but was sick of the hustle and was tired and needed to, like to like fill myself up with the beauty of outdoors. And it wasn't happening in the suburbs. So uh, We kind of made a list of all the different places that we thought that we would want to live. Asheville, Austin, Denver, Boulder, Portland. We did the tour. <laughs> After a while, it was kind of exhausting, and uh, we found ourselves coming up a lot. And... It felt like home pretty quickly. So um, my position at Partridge Creek Farm is a director of programs and partnerships. Partridge Creek Farm is an educational farm. We have five community gardens in downtown Ishpeming. So we grow food and we do farm to school programming and we teach um, how to grow food, how to cook food and nutrition and health education. So we've lived here a year and a half, right? And, and Dave's on the planning commission and um, I have frequent meetings with the superintendent and the city manager and our like best friend here is the mayor. Uh, I think it just goes to show you like small towns are so authentically easy to build community if you want that. That's actually why I felt like the Weston and Ishpeming specifically we gravitated toward because of that ability to do authentic work within the community so quickly. He's Dave and I'm May. <laughs> <laughs> And we yeah. made it Marquette. We made it Marquette. We made it Ishpeming. Marquette County. Marquette. Ishpeming. <laughs> <laughs>